Hi guys, my name is Amanda Katzman and I just created this full glam red carpet type look for you. If you'd like to see how it was done, please keep watching. Now I'm going in with the Studio Fix Fluid in NC25 and I'm just going in pressing down so I can cover her pores. Now I'm just speeding this up. Now I'm going in with my damp beauty blender and you're just going to want to really push this into the skin. The wet sponge is going to really pick up that extra product so you don't have a cake face. Blend, blend, blend. Now going in with the soft brown color by MAC. I'm just going to use this and fill in her brows just a little bit. I'll list all my products below. Now going in with Chickadee by Makeup Geek. You want to be very light with this product and work it right into the crease using a fluffy brush by MAC. The number is 224. Now going in with that soft brown, we're going to really work this into the outer V of the eye. You want to be light with this product because we're just going to build and get darker. Now going in with this black shade by MAC, we're going to use this only in the outer V. You really want to pack this product on. Don't worry about blending yet. We're going to go back in with our MAC 224 brush and blend it out later. You want to really push that product into the eye. Now going back in and blend, blend, blend. Going in with some MAC Fix Plus. I'm just spraying the edge of my flat tip brush, going in with my gold pigment by MAC. This stuff lasts forever. You can use an eye glue if you want to help prevent fallout. I just sprayed with a little Max Fix Plus. It helps bring out the pigment. You want to really pack this on. Now I'm just going back in with that fluffy brush with my extra product and softening that line a little bit. Now going in with some liquid liner. I'm just going to really be tight with this and just go on the lash line. Going in with L'Oreal Telescopic, my favorite mascara. Adding a little bit to her top lashes. Now I'm going to go in with Magic Gold number 99. You want to let your lashes get really tacky with that glue before you put it on the eye. Helps from sliding around everywhere. Now you're going to want to pinch your lashes together with the fake lashes. It helps blend the two together.
It's easier if you look down doing this so your lashes don't get glued together. Now going in with my MAC Concealer Palette, you're going to want to choose a shade two to three shades lighter than your skin tone if you want that really bright under eye look, which is what we're going for today. And you're just going to lightly place this under her eyes, pushing down, which will help blend out for you. Right here, I'm just dragging it to get a more cat eye look. Now I'm taking it on her chin and on her cupid's bow. This is going to really make her top lip stand out and look really plump. Doing the same on the other side. Now I'm going to bring it down the bridge of her nose and just a little on her forehead. If you have a bigger forehead, you're gonna to wanna to bring this up just a little higher. Now you're gonna dampen your beauty blender and just blend this all out. The biggest thing with this is blending. Now this step is called baking. We're gonna use a little bit of translucent powder and we're gonna be letting this sit down for about three minutes just to really set in there so your concealer doesn't crease or move around. Now we're just gonna lightly brush this off. Now going in with my Naked Palette, we're just gonna darken her outer corner of the eye. Take a lighter corner for the inner and the middle of her eye. This is gonna help really brighten up that eye. Now just adding a little bit of lower mascara. And blending her top lashes in one more time. Now my favorite part contouring with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette in Fair. I kind of make a combination of the three colors. My sister has a pretty dark complexion, so you can get away with doing that. If you have a bigger forehead, you can bring this along the top hairline. And now I'm just adding a little bit in the hollows of her cheeks. This is going to help lift her cheekbones. The more blending, the better. You don't want any harsh lines. Now going in with Blush Baby by MAC, I'm just going to lightly dust this on the apples of her cheeks. 
you want to be very light with this color. Make sure you connect it with your bronzer so there's no empty space. The other side. And now going in with Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics. This is my absolute favorite highlighter. It looks good on any skin tone. Thank you, Jaclyn Hill, for creating this masterpiece. I'm going to lightly dust it right above where we put her blush. This is really going to lift her cheekbones and give her a really pretty glow. Adding some to her cupid's bow and the bridge of her nose. Now I'm going in with a rosy lip color. I ended up using Velvet Teddy by MAC because I felt it was more subtle and it looked better with the eye look. And now I'm going to finish off with some MAC Fix Plus Finishing Spray. And there you have it. That was my full glam tutorial today. If you want to press subscribe below, I'll be posting new videos every week. Thanks for watching. Bye.